recently as I was checking my email, I had a principal send out some information about vocabulary instruction and just doing much more than, well, definitions. And so she sent this article, it's about the Freire model and whatnot. And the question was, okay, so how do I go about making a template that students could work on in Google? Because quite frankly, if it works in Google and you have Google Classroom, it works much better if it's a Google product, whether it's a Google Doc, drawing, sheet, slide, whatever. So I'm gonna talk about how to make it indestructible so that way students can't just move things around because that's one of the criticisms I've heard is if someone makes a template in docs, sheets, or slides, whatever, the students can easily manipulate and move those items around. So I'm gonna talk about how to make this indestructible. How do you make your own? You need two things. First, you need Google Drawings, and then you also need a Google Slide. I'm gonna go ahead and open a brand new slide here. And I'm gonna go back to my Google Drawing here, and I'm just gonna call this Template Background. And so how I go about doing this is I start working with some shapes and whatnot and I piece them in, and I'm gonna go through all those steps pretty quickly, okay? Now, since I'm gonna take this template here that I'm gonna make in Google Drawings, and I'm gonna move it into a Google Slide so that way students can work on it, I need to make this the same orientation. A slide orientation is a 16 by nine, and a drawing orientation is four by three. So I need to switch the page size right away. So I'm gonna to go to Page Setup, change this right away from standard to widescreen 16 by nine, okay? So now we have the orientation changed. I'm gonna go ahead and also change the background and I'm gonna make it white. And to do that, you have to right click on the background of a Google drawing. All right, so let's start with some shapes here. I'll just click and drag and roughly fit somewhere in the middle of this page here, like so. And then if you get it the size that you want it to be, you can hold down control click on it and drag. And when you hold down control and you click and drag at the same time, it actually makes a duplicate copy, exact same size. They give you these nice markers in the middle that allow you to adjust the positioning. Now, if you don't like it, you can always click on it and use the arrows. As you can see, that's a big jump. I'm gonna hold down shift to do gradual movements here and use my arrow keys on my keyboard. Isn't that nifty? Slide that over and that looks about right. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this again, hold down control, click on it, hold down control, drag it down like so. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. And they give you these nice positioning tools so that way you know exactly how to position it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do different fill colors for each one. I'll do that here in a little bit to get you rolling though. I'm gonna hold down control and click on all of them. And I'm gonna I'm going to choose my font that I want the students to use. I'm going to choose the font size. I shouldn't say that the students would use, that I will use in each box. And then I'm going to choose the orientation. So I'm going to click off on this side. I'm going to make the orientation, the alignment, I should say, for the text to be left on those. These boxes, I'm going to make it. I'm going to hold down Control. I selected both. And I'm going to make this one right. And then to start typing in it to give those directions, or the examples that they gave. So definition, characteristics, or picture, example, or non-examples, and then a word in the middle, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this background drawing piece here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get a circle and move on from there. Okay, so here I have this piece done. I have the template background. Now I'm gonna to need to be able to put it into my Google Slides as a template. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to download it as an image, download as PNG. And then what I do is I go to Google Slides and I go to here where it says, I go here where it says slide and I go to edit master I'm going to set the slide master here. I'm going to select the slide master and hit background. And I'm going to insert my image here. Upload it straight from my drive here. Okay, I'll go ahead and hit done. And now it's in the background of my Google Slides deck, so that way they can't mess with it. What I'm also going to do is I'm gonna change all these layouts. 
So I'm actually going to uh, delete these layouts, all these other ones, because I don't necessarily need students to have all these different layouts. So I'll go through that really quick. So I'm going to select all these, holding down control. I'll then right click and hit delete layout like so. And now I only have one layout. I'm also going to click the edit the master style here. So I'm going to put some text boxes in for these kiddos to use here. And you go to the insert option. And when you go to placeholder, you have some different options. And so I'm going to choose actually a subtitle placeholder because then I won't have bullets like so. So there's a text box for them to work with. I hold down control and I can duplicate that exact same box like so. It gives me a nice red line letting me know when it's aligned the same as the other one. I'll hold down control and grab this one, drag it down like so. Do the exact same thing. Wait for my red line to pop up. There it is. And then I'll do the same thing over here. So it's aligned with both of them. Oh, there it was. Crosshairs. Let go. All right. Then I need another box right here for my word. So that way the students can put in the word if need be. There we go. So now I have this template created and I'm going to hit the X to leave the slide deck maker. And so what I can do now is every time the student hits new slide, they get a new slide. And that is how you can make an indestructible graphic organizer.